All right, well, it's now 5.04. I gotta throw my vest on, get downstairs, catch an Uber, and head over to the start line at the Chrissy Field. So, yeah, let's go run 50K. at the start. <laughs> Sheesh. Whoa. All those headlamps way behind. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Check it out. <laughs> we are on asphalt now, headed up, I guess, somewhat towards the bridge. I am on the Golden Gate Bridge now. Been on pavement already. We'll be on pavement for the first 5K. three and a half miles in, blew through the first aid station. That is just gorgeous out there, man. Look at that. I had to stop and walk a second just to take it in. That is beautiful. poking out over there. Man. We got runners on the hill over there. And then way over there, there's a guy in like a orangish shirt. I don't know if you can see that. These trails are so nice because they're not like technical at all. I mean, you can look up and enjoy the view and not worry about like rolling an ankle. It's awesome. This has been a pounding descent. Moving along sub seven right now. Beating those quads up. But you can see this runner's still way down there. little update here seven miles in about 7.3 miles just over an hour <laughs> like an hour and two hour and three minutes I probably went out too fast so mark this point in the video right now later on when I'm like oh I went out too fast I'm suffering because <laughs> mile seven was a 702 granted it was all downhill still I'm gonna pay for that Now we're grinding up a fire road. There's a long one too. You can see somebody way up there. Still just very beautiful. miles in 10 miles and an hour and 32 minutes moving right along 
every which way you look, just a beautiful, beautiful view. Get over how beautiful it is. Man. Definitely went out too fast because I PR'd my half marathon, my trail half marathon time. Oh well, we'll see how long I can hang on. I know I sound like a broken record, but this is beautiful. aid station I think I think it was number four 16 miles in feeling pretty good good climb back out we got some two-way traffic 50k runners coming back down to the aid station I just left going pretty well hey good job stairs. Oh man, these climbs are straight up. Steep. Looking at my watch, it's like about 23 to 27% grade. So it's a good incline. Whew. Almost 20 miles in. Still moving pretty well. Keep on. Finally made it to the top, sort of. At least where the trail turns, but look at that view. Man. Wow. These old gun batteries used to sit up here. Man. 360. How about that?
my legs are tired right now. I think I've got one more aid station to go. I'm about 23 miles in. Still moving. Let's finish it out. Still climbing. Jeez, man. That guy at the last aid station lied. He said it was like 400 feet of elevation gain. Well, so far it's been 800 and we're still going. Whew. But I think I'm almost to the top. Oh, sweet Jesus. Probably a large. I got to meet Amanda Basham and uh, Justin Grunewald. Justin actually won the 50K with a blistering time of like a like a 3:33, just insane. And also, of course, met uh, Matt Fraser and Matt from Compliment. Uh, so it was just super cool to meet them. I'm hanging out with them right now. Uh, they're back behind me there at that tent. Uh, but it's just a gorgeous day, hanging out right now, enjoying the, the sun, warming up a little bit, and then uh, yeah, just gonna go eat and relax a little bit, recover. Still hungry. Back at the hotel, had a shower. Feel so much cleaner and nicer now. Uh, I drank a lot of water as well because I was definitely a little dehydrated. But the race went fantastic. Uh, it really went so much better than I thought it was going to go, uh, just with my lack of training. So I finished in 516. I think I was like 25th-ish place, something like that, uh, which I'm super happy about. I mean, it was just I thought I was going to be close to the six-hour mark. But it just, uh, it's a fast course. Uh, there are some crazy steep climbs. But I would highly recommend this race to anyone that wants to do a gorgeous, epic. It was beautiful. Uh, I mean, just hands down the most beautiful, most scenic 50K I've ever done or any race I've ever done. The views were just amazing. Hopefully this video has done justice to that and you were able to see it as well. I do realize it's it's an expensive race. It's a Spartan Trail race. Uh, I think the 50K was somewhere close to that $200 price range. Like it's, it's expensive for a 50K, very expensive, especially considering the swag that you get. I mean, I got this medal, which is pretty cool. Focus, there we go. Now you can see the medal. 
Uh, and then this other one, which is like a Trail 50K, it's part of their series, where if you do the rest, you get the other piece of the metal, I guess. But then I also got this Golden Gate Trail Classic shirt, which is pretty cool, uh, very comfortable. But that's it for swag. Uh, and for a $200 race, you would expect a little more, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So if you wanna do a beautiful race, I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the footage and uh, got to experience some beauty. A gorgeous day, the weather could not have been better. It was super perfect. In the morning it was like 52 degrees, so it was a little chilly. Uh, and then it got up into the, you know, 63 degrees, I think, maybe 64. But there's no humidity here, so it just felt amazing. So yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching, giving them thumbs up, subscribing, all of that. Just thank you so much. And if you want to take a look at another really pretty course, if you want to take a look at the Laurel Highlands race I did, it's going to be on this side of your screen. Go check that one out. It's a 70 mile race. That's also very pretty. Uh, and then over on this side, I'll put a playlist up of some other trail running videos. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next one.